uncertainties in those ambulances can be the difference between life and death when it comes to an emergency. This is National EMS Week, and first responders are showing us what they do in the field every single day. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Twilan Nugin live for us from AMR on the city's east side. Hi, Twilan. Good morning, Anne and Katie. It's such an important job and a really tough one to do as well. But we've got a new EMT here this morning. Sherry, I want you to share your story about why you became an EMT. Um, I became an EMT because um, I've suffered some some tragic moments in my life. Um, two years ago on Super Bowl Sunday, my um, husband and I were getting ready for a Super Bowl party and um, he was wrestling. It was a fun day, you know, we're getting ready to, to go have some football fun. And um, he started some chest pains. Um, later on in the day, he they wouldn't go away. He kind of blew them off though. And the more I asked him to go seek help, he wouldn't. He wanted to get to that game. Um, eventually I talked him into getting in the car and on the way to the hospital, he seized up and had a myocardial infarction, so, um, which is a, a heart attack. He, we tried 40 minutes of CPR while getting, while at the hospital and um, they couldn't bring him back. But uh, I didn't know what to do. Um, you know, I gunned it to the hospital, but hindsight, if I knew what I knew, if I knew then what I know now, who knows what could have happened. He, um, showed the signs that I didn't recognize and um, I never want to be put into that situation again um, not knowing what to do not knowing what to expect not knowing the signs to look for so you know with that in mind I said let me do something more I'm a single mother now and I never want to never I never want to know what not know what to do Absolutely. and um, I don't know. I started uh, AMR, and I have a few other first responders in my family that um, that are amazing. And yeah. uh, I'm so sorry. To I'm too. <laughs> yeah, you have an incredible story, and it just shows how the people here, you know, get into it because they care, and it's more than just a job. But we're going to have so much more information for you on our website. We're live here in Buffalo. I'm Twila Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News. Her story is gut-wrenching oh when you goodness. hear that, but the fact that she was called to <sighs> action because of something so personal and the fact that she never wanted to be in that situation again yeah. yes. and now helping so many of our neighbors around Western New York is so important. I mean, we are glued to her story, yeah. and what a powerful message. She never doesn't want to know what to do. Yeah. Well, and the fact that he was just doing something so simple, you know, yes. he was wrestling ahead of a football game and then uh. really wanted to get to that football game. I mean, any one of us can be in that position. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and then gone just like that. She so had family members who mm -hmm. uh, were with the MS too, so yeah. that's, uh, that's great. Well, we thank her for sharing her story wow. and thank her for her service and all of the other first responders who are helping all of us around town. I was going to say, if that's not going to inspire you to do right. something, <laughs> huh? How about that?